Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to present layout in Genesis. We're going to show you how to connect components in layout, layout properties, the stack up, its associations. We'll introduce the 3D visualization tool. We'll show you how we do ground pours, exporting layouts for manufacturing, and managing footprints. The last stage of almost any design is the layout. Here we show you an example of a uh, interdigital filter that we designed with mFilter. And now we'll go ahead and uh, click on the layout. And this is the layout that was performed by uh, Genesis. Uh, you notice the parts are disconnected. In some cases, this will be the case. We can use the uh, Control A key to select all the components, or we can draw a box around our components and then go up to the uh, layout uh, menu and select connect all. And you see the parts become connected. Uh, some other features, if I right click on the screen, I can see a menu here that allows us to either hide or show the various uh, stack up layers. We can use uh, 3D geometry. Here are some of the modes for displaying. Here's a hollow mode, there's a solid mode, and then uh, the default, which is x-ray mode. And again, if we want to look at the uh, layout properties, we right click and then select layout properties. This is where we can select the units. Uh, we can select also grid spacing, uh, the box width and height and length if we're going to do an EM layout or we need to lay out to specific dimensions. Uh, we can also uh, change the layers in which the vias will be presented, either top, bottom, top to middle, or some other layer. The associations allow us to link a component type part to a particular footprint or layout. And here it's 1206 for an inductor. If we want to change that, we simply go to the library and change it to a different layout or footprint. And you see it's reflected here. And you can make your own libraries of footprints if you wish. Uh, here's the stack up layer. This is the default layer for top cover, bottom cover, um, the top masks, top, bottom metal. You can add metals in different layers, as many as you like or need. Uh, this is how we select what we're going to use, as well as the parameters, uh, such as uh, what the substrate materials are made out or the, or the conductors. In this case, we can also select how the top and bottom covers behave, whether they're magnetic wall, as you see, or some electrical uh, or free space uh, permittivity or, or um, uh, impedance. <clears throat> and so we vary all the parameters on this uh, layer screen. Sometimes we need to add additional copper to our layout. And in Genesis, it's very easy. We have these various uh, drawing primitives, as you see here, draw a line. And we have a number of widths. We can add our own width, as many widths as we want. We can terminate it either in a round or a square. Here's a standard rectangle, an arc. And uh, here's an example of a drawing an arc. We just attach two endpoints, and then we can set the uh, angle between those. And likewise, polygon, as you might expect, it's just a closed form uh, polygon. And here I'm just doing a couple of mouse clicks to make, uh, make a closed uh, uh, conductor. We can add an EM port. We can add a footprint, some text, a via, or uh, additional round pad. Also, there's 3D uh, viewable, and we can also measure distances in our circuit. When I click on the 3D viewer, you see that come up here. And you notice we obviously have a three-dimensional view that we can look around and uh, look at different layers, turn off uh, various layers, and make sure of the connectivity uh, between our circuit. This meander is an example of a manually drawn element. Oftentimes in our layout, we want to perform a ground uh, pour. And this is very simple in Genesis. I'm going to first click on a rectangle and then enclose our entire layout, as you see here. Then I'm going to click on the icon for pour, and I'm going to set the keep away at 50, that is 50 mils, and the tolerance uh, for 1 mil. The tolerance affects how jagged the edge is. Press OK, and here you see a keep away uh, of 50 mils. And uh, if I want to change that, I can undo our, our pour. Let me change the keep away to 25. And uh, now you notice it's much closer, but also we have metal with, uh, between uh, resonators, and that's not good. So you need to be mindful of the tolerance. Once we're happy with our layout, what we want to do then is to export it. And next is to, to uh, select uh, the method of export, or the type. 
So Genesis allows us a number of different export formats. We can uh, take DXF, uh, GDS2, a Gerber, or even uh, HBGL uh, plotter file. In this case, we're going to select Gerber, and we choose which uh, layers we're going to export. And then under the options, we can select the file format and uh, the output units, as well as the number of leading or trailing uh, zeros or and, uh, zero suppression, the number of digits, whether we want to export a drill layer, and then also some other output options uh, regarding exporting components. We then select the file to export it to. And then when we press OK, we have a GDS, uh, excuse me, a Gerber viewer that uh, pops up and shows us exactly what the uh, implementer or whoever is going to do the, uh, the board uh, for you uh, will see. Another task that's often needed in, uh, in layouts is to change the footprint of some of our components. And uh, as you see here, if I uh, wanted to change the footprint of a capacitor or resistor, I'll double click on that component, uh, press the change uh, button, and then in this case I've gone from a 402 to 603, and accept that, and you see the size of the footprint has changed. Likewise for a resistor, if I want to change that, pick the library, pick the footprint, OK, and then OK. Now once we're happy with our layout, the next thing or final thing we want to do is go to the export feature, just like I showed you earlier. And uh, in that case, uh, we could select, as I said, either GDS2, a DXF, or our Gerber format. Well, anyway, I hope that I've shown you how easy it is to use layout in Genesis. Thank you for watching.